Okay, welcome again, and this time we're going to talk about Chapter 8. Chapter 8 talks about advanced SQL. Now, I'm going to kind of walk you through this process. We'll begin with the idea of Table 1, Table 2, and Table 3. Now, the way this thing works is there are common ideas, common items between these items, these tables. So we'll have table one, we'll have table two, and we'll have table three. Okay, let's move this over so we can't make it look better. Now, the idea is that you want to extract information from table one and table three. So you have this part here where table one has some common information with table two. And over here, where table two has some common information from table three. Now, the interesting part here is that table two does not really provide data for the extraction. Table two merely serves as a conduit that allows you to connect table one and table three. Now, what this allows you to do is to create a subset down here that you can draw from. So the idea here is when you have multiple tables to create a pool and then from that pool be able to draw from that pool. So this will be the main query. This will be Q1 and then this will actually support the second query which would be query 2. So what you're doing is that you're establishing a smaller pool from a larger pool that you can draw from. And the text and the chapter talk about how there are the inner joins, the outer joins, and how you can extract information. For example, let's say that you're looking for information that is not a common item. In that case, you would be looking for the information here and the information here. So in this scenario, you have used table two to connect table one to table three, but what you're looking for is those items that are not common to table one and table three. So instead of looking for information that has common features, you can also turn that around and use it to look for features that are external to that item. And as you drill through this process, please understand that, that table two does not provide data between table one and table three. Now what makes it even more interesting is you can go to table four and continue that process again. So this idea of using tables that link information but do not provide data for the output is what you have to uh, work through. And that basically sums up chapter eight. Thank you.